Welcome, welcome to Jacuzzi, welcome to the Free Association, uh, London Times Pay Price Comedy. Give me a big cheer if this is your, uh, if you've been to the FA before, give me a big cheer. Woo! Give me a big cheer if you've never been to the FA before. Woo! Right. About the same amount of went to Pride today. <laughs> Um, everything you see tonight is entirely improvised, made up on the spot. Isn't that amazing? I still don't know how they do it. <laughs> I don't know why they do it. I, I write it, personally. Um, no, everything you see tonight is entirely improvised. Uh, we have a very special show for you tonight. Uh, uh, special for a couple of reasons. One, it's being filmed. So, uh, be nice. Uh, it's being filmed. Um, and also we have a very, very special guest joining us, uh, improvising with us. Uh, for those of you who don't know how this show works, what's going to happen, I'll bring in our players in a second. Uh, and then we're going uh, to tell, uh, as a group, we're going to tell uh, monologues, uh, stories inspired by an uh, audience suggestion from you guys. And then we're going to improvise scenes and sketches inspired by those stories. It's going to be hilarious. You guys are going to have a great time. And then we can all uh, go back home and never forgive ourselves for not going to Pride today. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you guys ready to meet your FA players? <laughs> Any words? Spontaneous. Spontaneous? <laughs> um, I went on a date uh, from Hinge on Thursday, and the guy, it was not good. I had a really bad time. <laughs> he talked at me for like two and a half hours. I did process a lot of what he said, so he talked a lot and like talked quickly. Um, and he did something that I thought was quite spontaneous, which is he decided in the middle of talking to just lean in for a kid. <laughs> I was already kind of like leaning away from him because he was like sitting too close to me. He was like sitting next to me. And then he leaned in and I was like, ah! And then he leaned further. Um, and, then he, and then I was like, we're not vibing. Like, we're not vibing. Earlier in the day, he like took my hand and put his put it on his knee. And I was like, oh, I don't want to touch you. Um, and right after he went in for the kiss and it like, Failed, he's like, Oh, yeah, I didn't think you'd be into it. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's Um, So, uh, it's your six month review. Thank you, yeah. Um, <laughs> <and it's> great, <laughs> great work um, in the, 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 this quarter, quarter and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, very happy with your with your results, with your um, uh, with your with your ethic, uh, frankly. Um, yes, your your work ethic, ethic, work ethic. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, I, I knew that wouldn't go well. Why did you do that? I don't, I, um... Tea, coffee, water... <laughs> would you like to sleep? What you? <laughs> I think we're fine, Dennis. Uh, I'm going to get some water, actually. <laughs> water, water, yes. Um, yes. Uh, you can just leave it on there. Cups. Thanks, Dennis. That's really nice. <laughs> Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. I, I'm trying to be more spontaneous. <laughs> in, in my, inappropriate. I could go to HR right now. Please don't. Please don't. I actually get there. So 
No, that's not the point, is it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, please. I don't, I, I'm just trying to be a bit more spontaneous in my role. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's me, Judy, from HR. The, oh, Christ. The, the, we need to leave. The, the, the fire alarm's going off. There's a, there's a fire in the building this right now. This happened at about a time. <laughs> <laughs> this is great right news. <laughs> Try to be spontaneous. I, I, I misjudged the situation. I, I, I'm sorry. So there's a fire. In there's the a fire. Why can't we clear this floor? Let's get this yes. whole floor cleared out. Stop your zeal, where is? Right? Well, everybody else. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so There's just one of, there's, so there's just two of you. Yes, there will be. Um, usually when you say it's a birthday party, <laughs> we do a, a special birthday chicken. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Right. finished basting the birthday chicken. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> it took me four hours. <laughs> it's fit for seven hours. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, Carl. Hey, I'll, I'll come Bobby. and fetch you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping I could go for a break. It took me so long. Yes, Carl. Why don't you go on your break and I'll sort this out, Carl? I promise. It's a feast fit for seventy or more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a birthday chicken. Yes, I know. Oh, hello. <laughs> And where, are the <laughs> and where are the remaining 68 of you? Oh, I'm all you need. <laughs> it's, the, it's the biggest chicken you have seen. <laughs> it's such a big chicken. It's such a big chicken feast. Well, I'm a big girl. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> well, this ain't no ordinary chicken. <laughs> We're not to fit feast 70. Oh, it's Fernando's birthday feast. <laughs> <laughs> I read about that on Groupon. You need one of these harpoons. Sorry. I don't need. I'll just get it sliced and then I'll eat the slice. <laughs> what is that? Don't move! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I did this. This bastard ate my leg! <laughs> I'm gonna get him at last! <laughs> Happy birthday! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I think I missed. <laughs> Grant, there's, there's a bit of a problem with the chicken. <laughs> it's got a human leg inside it. I only realized once I got my hand in there. <laughs> We've got to stop getting them from that guy. <laughs> Legs, I think. <laughs> well, not anymore. That's probably his leg if you put two and two together. Get four. Oh, no. <laughs> now it's not gonna... the time to be cute, Carl. <laughs> One day I'm going to get my diploma. And then I'm going to be out of this place. Oh, you think you're too good for Nando's, Carl? Well, let me tell you something, Carl. Sometimes two plus two doesn't equal four. <laughs> I'm going to read upon that. <laughs> One day I'm going to have my diploma. Carl, just serve the chicken. We'll say the leg's a special Portuguese spice rack. <laughs> or something. Oh, you're brilliant! <laughs> oh, um, hello. <laughs> right, so, here comes the birthday chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your birthday. It's not your birthday. No, it's just I'm, I'm just saying that I'm not sure it's my birthday. It's not your birthday. No, it's just I'm, I just came out with it when I was on the. A man lost his leg for this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> in case I need anything sort of yes, cut open um, and messed around. Uh, let me know when, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like other people in the waiting room, I like to tell them that just sort of as an apology, you know, because when I have them on retainer, you wait for me to be done, and uh, I haven't even decided what I'm getting done yet. So. <laughs> I'm having my foot removed. Really? <laughs> Well, I do. Saying? I definitely do. do. Yes, I do. That's why it's all set up and everything. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I'm ready, I'll just sort of roll myself over here. That's why it takes like 15 minutes for lunch. Hey, yeah, put it on my tab. <laughs> you 
where you eat a lot of rich, rich food. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sushi, a lot of red wine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not the you know bad gout. Right. Oh, really? Of Not the because what is it? It's the acid, right? It's the lactic acid it's collects the in the toes. It's the lactic acid that collects in the mm-hmm. toes. Yeah. But sort of just acid. Right. <laughs> 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 I had my I had my appendectomy reversed, but it's not sitting well. <laughs> you had your appendix put back in your body. Yes, I had it on my desk in a little crystal for a while, and I put it back in. Sort of see how it sits. About you? You may. You're a smug, rich man. <laughs> <laughs> you are a smug, very rich, very man. <laughs> Rich. You've got a surgeon and retainer. <laughs> Certainly, but you know, we all prioritize our investments. <laughs> Hi, so I've got the report to ask for. Ah, uh, yes, thank you very much. Oh, that's a new takeaway. Is it? No, it's a crystal with a little piece of my intestine. <laughs> I wouldn't weigh paper down with this conversation piece. <laughs> I barely use paper at all. I have things described to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Is there anything else you need? Just this report. Described? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing really well in Good. South Korea, yes. but we could expand across the globe. I see. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's the plan. I just find that a bit disgusting. You do? A little bit. Okay, I'll get it put back in then. <laughs> would, would you like me to uh, <laughs> that was a short to lunch. do that to now? Have another lunch. <laughs> no, another, are you sure? If you want, uh, one lunch is fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, crack it open, cut me open, get it put back in. I have a very important meeting at three. Great. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess we can use these chairs. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, lie yourself down. I'm going to start. To be honest, I've actually been quite anxious to get to work. It's been quite a while since the last one. Yeah, I suppose it has. waiting now. Yeah. Waiting to, uh, waiting to cut you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 It's three o'clock. Where the fuck could he be? He's almost late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's just give him another couple of minutes before we get mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're late, you know. Well, I've memorized all this stuff to describe. Yes. <laughs> and I'm just here in case you forget. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Gerald. You're a great intern with a great future ahead of you. Oh, thank you. That's really. That's <laughs> <laughs> so patronizing. So, you're going to talk about the South Korea moving across the globe job. Yes. <laughs> great. Um, he, Mark, will be along. He's just running slightly slowly. He's running stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> running stuff. Running stuff. Oh. I was going to describe what you've been... Should we not go into that? Oh, you may. <laughs> He's been having a piece of his intestine that he was using as a conversation piece surgically put back into his body by a surgeon that he has on retainer. Sure. So, <laughs> well, how are we doing on um, moving South Korea across the world? <laughs> 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 Dr. Rogers, now, far be it for me to tell the doctor that he's unwell, but um, the blood pressure results are pretty startling. Just how many lunches are you? Your, your voice, though, is so soothing. 
It's just so relaxed. That's quite right. Just make yourself, avail yourselves of the lobby facilities. Oh, thank you. If you need anything, just give me a tinkle, oh, okay? thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so nice. That's so nice. You, you use shaken back? <laughs> that feels like shaken back. It shaken back. Yes, yes, it's it's an organic compound. It's it's sort of chemically the same as shaken back. Oh, I could just when you speak, I could just go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> if I pop some wet on, that was done. Yes, he falls asleep very. This sounds like, this sounds like that movie, The Human, human Centipede. centipede. <laughs> it's like, are you going to Human Centipede us? Please don't get me that. Please. Please. Uh, if, if, if it is, a bagsy front. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I bagged it! I am your wife! I bagged it! Uh, all, all better off with a Human Centipede scenario. You've been trying to get me to do that for years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was more than I needed to hear. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, have we made you uncomfortable? <laughs> if, you're going to feel, if you're going to human sense me, that's then just then just get on with it, but do it quickly and make sure I'm in the front. Don't do it, don't do make it at sure all! I'm, don't do it! Look, this is, there's other things you can do. What do you enjoy? <laughs> Gerard, can you come down here, please? Come right down! <laughs> oh no, Cher out a cowboy. <laughs> oh no! How am I to become a human centipede? No, no, Gerard! Too bad! I will if I'm front. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just saying if we have to. <laughs> Look, we just I made it. Well, Gerard, I'm finding the two hostages a bit of a pain in the eyes. Oh, no. Maybe you'd like to do something with them. You know I'm a cowboy. <laughs> you have! It's nice to see you back in the saloon. Nice to see you too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Wave around. What yes. the fuck? You can't shoot the feeling at. Most of them. Most of them you can. Mom is gonna push this door. That's fine. Make oh, a flat yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna kill this chair. That's also fine. Don't shoot the ceiling. Don't shoot the ceiling. We can live up there. There's a hotel up there. <laughs> Damn it! I just want to know where you've been all this time. Oh, a basement somewhere. <laughs> what? We've been uh, taking up a new town over yonder. I've got some prostitutes and we're going to he head to the sheriff's office. I've been office. engaging in other activities. <laughs> like what? You've been over yonder yonder? Have you ever heard of Mountford Spa and Resort? <laughs> I have never heard of such a place. Man, it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, yes, hello. Excuse me, are you, um, are you in charge of the inn here? I'm the proprietor, that's right. I'd like to make a small complaint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You see, my, um, I, I woke up this morning and my son, Timothy, had been shot. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite sure he'd gone to bed having not been shot. He'd gone to bed, he'd gone to bed having not been shot, and, and that's just the thing. You're quite sure of that. I'm quite sure. Uh, a lot of times, uh, children, uh, when they're <laughs> shot, they seem just sort of tired. <laughs> oh, well, I guess maybe I could be mistaken. But it did seem as though he'd been shot through the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I assume, yeah. With bullet, uh, you, you think? I assume so. Uh, mm, I don't want to make too much of that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now, that's the room that I was in. Papa, they got me again. again. Well, I'm sure that... Right I'm, about the chandelier? I'm sure it was, but yeah, I... Because you've been rattling the chandelier quite a bit. Really. Oh, well, I guess I could be mistaken. I, you must be mistaken. Oh, well... I don't want to make a fuss. I suppose not. <laughs> and my son may live. Papa. <laughs> I was just doing my chandelier dancing. But it just came clean through the, the floor and straight on my buttocks. I'm afraid I cannot sit. Timothy, you were doing the chandelier dance? <laughs> <laughs> I've brought you to a nice place, Timothy. <laughs> you know, I went, I went down and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed because the proprietor made me aware that we had been, that we had been rattling the chandelier. Can you imagine how embarrassed I felt? <laughs> Go to bed, and I hope you get shot. Um, so we're here today to remember my dad, uh, Jonathan Harold. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to give a eulogy. Sure. Yeah. Um, He gave a lot of charity and, and more than that in his day-to-day -day life he was very kind and, and gave a lot to his kids, me Aww. and my brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm so sorry because I'm sure this would become funny at some point. Um, <laughs> and it's not going the way that I thought it would. It's okay. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just real. None, of this is <laughs> None of this is jokes. Okay, I'll carry on. Just lean into like, your points of view. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sad oh, that he's yeah. gone. Oh, yes. That's a really good setup line. <laughs> There's always a punchline after something. How sad are you? <laughs> I'm so sad that I am feeling very depressed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe if you... I'm being sad. God, doesn't it, when you're sad, and you feel like just jumping in front of a train? Have you considered asking us what our jobs are and making fun of them? <laughs> <laughs> My dad, as you all know, was a mechanic. Hey, what, what do you do? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an actuary. An actuary? Here we go. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, how do you guys do? Yeah, not 
bad thing they always leave at the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I had them eating out of my hand. Right. I was so hilarious. It oh, sounded really loud. Like yeah, that sounded amazing. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm looking through the obituaries, Paul, but no one I know has died. Just find. I don't care. <laughs> I just I need to get you another funeral. funeral. There's nowhere where it would be appropriate for you to speak. Look, <laughs> look are you. Do you. Do you even still want to be my agent? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Then find me a funeral. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Okay, look. Look, look. You. Uh, you, 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 you went to St. Christopher's uh, School for Boys? St. Christopher, right? yeah, yeah, St. Christopher. Okay, well, uh, then, yeah. Oh, uh, you yeah, went to St. Christopher's when you, when you were a boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, Mr. Clark was a pinfuck. Yes. <laughs> we're here to honor one of the most controversial figures. <laughs> somber today. Um, but, uh, I've called it a really good friend of mine, a comedian, you're gonna love it. <laughs> So, uh, hands up if you went to St. Christopher's. <laughs> <laughs> hands up if you got touched at St. Christopher's. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> of the St. Christopher um, little gold medallion that you can buy. Uh, which I, did someone say I've got one? Oh, yes! Oh my god! Mind meld. Um, I, I bought one for my boyfriend um, because I broke his chain. So basically, it had a golden chain with a cross on it. He's not Catholic, but he's brought up Catholic, Birmingham, Irish, you know. Um, and uh, so I broke it, obviously. And <laughs> I tend to break things that mean things to people. Not on purpose, but um, you know, just a bit of an oaf. And um, uh, so I went, so I went, my best friend is a jeweller, and I went to see if she'd get me some sort of cheap gold <laughs> to buy. Because gold is very expensive, guys. <laughs> so I got a new chain um, and a new, and I got him a St. Christopher as well to go with it um, for Christmas. Um, and I gave it to him, and he was really, really underwhelmed. Uh, um, because it, the chain was just ever so slightly smaller than his chain before. Which I think is a dick move. <laughs> like, it's not a good person. You know, even if you don't like it, you should act like it's great, right? Maybe that's just why I'm so tired all the time. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, yeah. but it's a great selection. Yeah, we have them out here. These are uh, very popular style. These are actually unique. They, um, uh, it's a 14 carat, uh, uh, but these are actually a little bigger than the ones we normally sell. Um, this is a special sort of a prototype from the jeweler uh, and the designer when they were first made. So yeah, we're very proud of it. Okay, great. So a fiver. <laughs> Can I get change from a fiver? Um, well, no, the price is right on there. It's eight hundred. Eight hundred pounds. Yeah. 800 pounds? Right. Yeah. 800 fucking pounds? I don't know what to tell you. But they're gold. <laughs> yeah, they're gold. It's the, a precious metal. It's the, I mean, the quintessential precious metal. Because <laughs> gold is really expensive. It is, yeah. Gold is really expensive. Well, it fluctuates on the metals market, I guess. <laughs> I Sorry, this is just blowing my mind. I just really thought gold was really expensive. Um, no, it's very expensive, yeah. yeah. That's why people, that's why we kept the glass cases and the security and all that yeah. stuff. They're oh. very valuable. Oh, I thought that was sort of a funny joke. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I was like, why is this like... Kind oh, of your, whole life, so. your whole life you thought the jewelry stores were sort of a performance art. <laughs> 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 Silly thing. I thought it was a silly thing. Right. Yeah. Like an arcade or I don't understand. <laughs> um, so these are about 800 pounds. Um, well, I obviously can't buy them. I guess not. We have costume jewelry. It looks the same. I guess that is sort of a joke. <laughs> hey, thanks for asking me out again. I, I'm really no glad you did. Yeah. Um, so you said we're going to like some fun like art show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of it's a so new cool. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. called Claire's Accessories. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think like it's like a sh it's like a show about Claire's accessories. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, we're going to go there and you can kind of interact with it. So you can kind of like oh, right. spin the stands. <laughs> and there's an actor at a till and you get to sort of ask them about their acting career. <laughs> Are you describing a shot? <laughs> I'm, I'm describing a show. A sh oh. You want to come on the date still, right? Hey oh. guys, um, welcome to Claire's Accessories. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> I wondered why we were meeting here. Yes! So, <laughs> who are you with? Uh, what, what drama school did you go to? Uh, the Royal one. <laughs> <laughs> Watch how these stands spin. Wow, wow. it is a show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I was rude to you. I know, I know, now I feel like a fucking ba dick. No, 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 no. Oh my god! 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 I've been in a class of accessories before. I didn't know that. Uh, you're not an artist. You don't have the feel no. for the arts. Like I'm, I'm yeah. an actuary. Do <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to buy anything? You can buy stuff here too. <laughs> I bought a ticket. We bought a ticket to the fair show. Uh, we don't need the gift shop. Sort of. I'm not about the merch. You really oh. must buy something at the gift shop before oh. you leave the show. Because then you'll be a big spender. <laughs> Vicar, I was wondering if I could inquire about hiring out the church hall. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, what did you have in mind? Uh, a roller disco. <laughs> Is this something the kids do these days? Yes. Um, you should know, I I'm not a Catholic, but I was brought up a Catholic, you know, Birmingham Irish, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Birmingham Irish well. <laughs> so it's not a problem then. I don't need to be like a sort of signed up, real original London Scottish Catholic, do I? Uh, no, the London Scottish Catholics will do anything for money. <laughs> I'll, 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 need, um, I'll need the walls sort of padded. I can bring the padding in. Um, we'll kick back all the chairs and. Um, um, We'll just let the kids do what they do, which is roll around on their roller skates. All right. <laughs> uh, Doug? Yeah. Would you just be honest with me and tell me that you want to get married in the church? <laughs> just, why are you running out of church and saying it's a roller disco? <laughs> <laughs> We're inviting all our friends. We're going to exchange vows. You want the vicar there. It's okay if you're Catholic. It doesn't make you super cool to deny it anymore. It's okay if you're religious. I'm nervous, okay? But married life is a big deal. Yes, I know. You know, when I was brought up a Catholic, Birmingham Irish, the whole business. <laughs> <laughs> and it just feels like once I take that step, there's no going back. I can't be, you know. I just stop with the facetiousness. You took me to the Stations of the Cross last year and said it was a scavenger hunt. But <laughs> <laughs> you'd enjoy it more that way, okay? <laughs> My faith is really important to me. It okay? is? Yeah, I come from a long line of Birmingham Irish Catholics. <laughs> but you keep minimizing it. You're minimizing it. It's okay if you're religious. I'm okay with that. I'm not a practicing Catholic either, but I was also raised Catholic. Scottish, Scottish, Irish, uh, Scottish, London Catholic. <laughs> it's just not the same. That's why I'm such a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> so, Doug. <laughs> you have something to tell your family. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What are you going to tell us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. <laughs> you come all the way back to Birmingham <laughs> to see your Birmingham, to see your Birmingham Irish. <laughs> Whatever you have to say, we've got your back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just delighted right to have you home, frankly. <laughs> okay. 
I've hired a church hall for a roller disco and I'm going to get married in it. <laughs> oh my god! That's fantastic mules, Scott. <laughs> oh, that's made me so happy. Doug, what's she like? <laughs> Is she Catholic? You know, Birmingham Irish, the whole lot. <laughs> Where about the island parents from? Oh, Birmingham. You might want to take a seat, okay? All right. I'm feeling this won't be very good news. Francine is a London Scottish Catholic. London Scottish Catholic. They'll do anything for a money. She's different, okay? They are sworn enemies. Foreign enemies. This is like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> How could you do this to us? I, I love her. You I think that matters? You think I loved your father when I married you? <laughs> you know, I wish he came from a nice Irish family. That's right. That's right, I did. <laughs> we didn't need to love each other. We were Birmingham Irish. <laughs> bonded over your faith, and I have the same faith as Francine. It's not the same faith. <laughs> what do your children say? Yeah. I'm burning in Irish Scottish London. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hey, Francine, you're back. Oh, Francine, you're back. Your dad's here, he's here. Oh, hey, tell your dad again. And your married dad. Oh, that's bloody fancy. <laughs> Ireland. Uh, I've been to, been to Northern Ireland, um, which is not the same. Um, but, um, uh, uh, but yeah, I've never been to Ireland, like, well, I would love to go. I hear it's like a very, very beautiful uh, country. Um, it's one of those countries that, um, uh, it, there's like a, there's, I feel like there's a, set, a real sense of mystery um, uh, around Ireland. That, uh, that that really sort of, sort of appeals to me. Like I often think of, uh, I don't know why I think this, but I I find it more mysterious than like Scotland or Wales. Apologies, um, <laughs> Scottish or Welsh. May, maybe that is simply because there's a bit of sea there. Um, but there is just something like very like rugged about it. It seems to have like a great like sense of uh, myth like myth mythology, I guess, uh, to it um, that makes it very like sexy and and rugged. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it sounds like I should go, it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like I should just buy a ticket and go to my uh, thank you. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> Here's a point, but what it is, I cannot say. <laughs> Sounds like you're from overseas, but where right. I cannot know. <laughs> Unless I ask, which I will not. I work here, so. Well, I come uh, from a long line of cowboys over in Kentucky, USA. And I have one question for you, ma'am. Ask me once. I may answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been in Ireland for like a couple days, and it's like, no one really answers my questions directly. And I have a very specific question. You're I can answer your question. <laughs> if you solve riddles, please. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle first. <laughs> what? My first is in teapot, but not in Skegness. <laughs> I'm, I'm so lost. I, honestly, I just want to ask if I can shoot your ceiling. Can I? Can I? This ceiling's been shot before. <laughs> well, now I'm interested. Tell me more, sir. Don't know more than that. <laughs> <laughs> can I be honest? What's with all the mystery? For a minute, I thought it was the ceiling talking. Oh, did you? I did. <laughs> 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 Talking here, and talks about being shot, that'd be incredible. 
No, I'm just here to fix the vending machine. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> oh, are such a mysterious folk. I'm just. This is Ireland. Everything's a mystery. And again, the coins keep getting stuck in the slot. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what you'll need in Ireland. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, are you the proprietor? <laughs> are you a young man or an old man? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never know. I'm, I'm middle aged. <laughs> I have been, I have been... S- I've been staying in the room above the saloon. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, I wrote my name in the register when I... I have a small complaint to... Book of Names. Yes, Book of I have a small complaint to lodge, actually. Um, um, you see my son, Timothy. <laughs> um, he, he, well, he woke up uh, this morning and he'd been, he'd been shot. Are you sure he wasn't shot when he went to bed? (laughs) (laughs) He has been shot before. (laughs) I suppose there's a chance that that maybe that wound just opened up again. (laughs) There's a chance it must be true. If there's a chance it must be true? If there's a chance it must be true. If there's a chance it must be true. Everything else has been perfect. <laughs> but then, <laughs> what did they say? Timothy, they said, if there's a chance, it must be true. Then I can do my chandelier dance. I'd rather you didn't. Tim. <laughs> Look, just take a coin and go and buy something at the vending machine. And I don't want to hear your tales about the coin getting stuck. <laughs> Love me, Papa. <laughs> Timothy, I'll love you when I'm ready. <laughs> there is potentially one other thing that might have happened to your little Timothy. <laughs> For there is word of a myth of a giant Nando's chicken. <laughs> a tiny leg inside it that only the truest of hearts can catch. Right. <laughs> Are you suggesting that the chicken came Shot in and pressed the chicken? <laughs> You saw it. I saw the chicken. <laughs> saw the chicken shoot my boy? What? No. Oh. At Nando's. Oh, you saw the chicken at Nando's. On my birthday. <laughs> oh, good. Yesterday. How oh, a happy birthday. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Christ. What's the vending machine doing, is it? It's stuck. <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> fish the little wire down. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> so you're in pass. Wait so did, you say that, did you say that the vending machine actually does have a problem? Oh, to be sure. So, <laughs> Tim- so Timothy was telling the truth. <laughs> if he was telling the truth about that, then maybe he was telling... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Has that, has that ever happened before? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh. Ban a chicken! Ban a chicken! Ban to the point! <laughs> so my boy didn't get shot. It's all part of the show. No, the, the show goes from 8 till 9.30. <laughs> oh. oh. It's just a little entertainment in the lobby. Oh. And well, I did shoot your boy, actually. You did shoot my boy. I did. <laughs> Great. <laughs>